Hello Year 3. Good uh, morning, or possibly afternoon, depending on when you're watching this. Um, we are doing another lesson today, looking at this question of where we can see evidence of Christian belief in London. So in the first lesson, we looked at the history of Christianity and how it first came to the UK in 300 AD. Uh, and we looked at, uh, what did we look at? So in the first lesson, yeah, we looked at how it arrived with the Romans in 300 AD and we filled out a timeline. Then in the second lesson, we looked at St. Paul's Cathedral, this incredible building with this really interesting history of being destroyed in the Great Fire of London, rebuilt by Sir Christopher Wren, and then not damaged during the Blitz, uh, which was the attack on London during World War II. And then we looked at uh, some Catholic buildings. We looked at Westminster Cathedral. And we looked at how until recently, until uh, about 200 years ago, being a Catholic in Britain was really dangerous. Um, it could get you killed. It could get your family kicked off your land. Um, and then that changed. And now people are free to worship whatever they want to worship in England. Um, and so lots of Catholics built lots of really beautiful and interesting churches in the last 100, 150 years. And today we are looking at three pieces of art and I know you're so experienced and so brilliant at looking at religious art from last half term. So this should be no challenge to you. Well, it might be a challenge, but it shouldn't be a problem. Um, and we've got three different pieces of art that we're going to look at. And all of these, you can find these in the National Gallery. So when the gallery reopens, whenever that will be, you can go in there and see these three different pieces of art we're going to look at. OK, so this is called the Sainsbury Wing of the National Gallery, and it's on the left hand side if you're coming in from Trafalgar Square. And do you know what? I really, really like this space. Um, this is one of the places in London I go and I feel really calm and really happy being surrounded by all this really interesting art. It's also quieter than the rest of the gallery. These um, paintings aren't as fashionable or popular as some of the other paintings, um, but they are really important. And they tell us something about Christian belief, just like how when we looked at the art, the Islamic art, that told us something about Allah. Well, this uh, Christian art tells us something about the Christian belief in God and in Jesus as well. So I'd encourage you to go. Um, it's really interesting. It's free. You don't have to pay to get in. Uh, definitely go and take a look at some of these paintings. They're also the oldest paintings in the gallery. So they tend to be about between kind of a thousand and uh, 500 years old. Hmm. So it contains the most important artworks in the Christian world. Okay, these paintings uh, in these art galleries uh, tell us a lot about how people at the time viewed Christianity. Uh, they were paid for by rich merchants and royalty. Uh, why do you think they may have wanted to have religious scenes painted? Well, that's an interesting question. What do you think? Well, we could go back to last uh, half term. We could think about why those rich merchants wanted really uh, beautiful illustrated Qurans. Um, it was because to show off their wealth, but also to show off how religious they were and how seriously they took their religion. So it's that kind of combined. Yes, it's very impressive, but also this is how much I want to give myself and give money to my religion. This is how seriously and importantly uh, how important religion is in my life. So, OK, we're going to look at a few different paintings now. Um, and for each one, uh, you can pause the video as we go along and fill in your booklet. So on the uh, right hand side, it says, how does the artist show the figures are special? So all the people in this painting, I'm going to point out the ways in which the artist shows that they're very special. Um, and as we go along, you can fill out in this box here, keeping track, making notes of how each painting, the artist shows that the figures in that painting are special. Let's just stop for a moment. Pause. I've been rather doing a lot this half term. So I think it's just interesting to pause and take a look at some of the art that we're going to look at. So this is a, a, a painting of famous Christian saints. Um, saints are really important people in Christianity. They are people who the church, um, the Catholic Church, but also the Church of England, have decided are going to have a special place in Christianity. So some saints are quite modern. For example, there's a saint called Oscar Romero, who only died about 50 years ago, and he became a saint recently. 
And some saints are really old. So, for example, Joseph, who was uh, Jesus's father, is considered a saint. The people who wrote the Bible, uh, the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John are considered saints. And on here, actually, they will be um, here somewhere. This is John the Baptist here. Um, all of these figures are really important people in the Christian uh, tradition. So what do you notice about how this painting is painted? What comes across looking at this painting? Well, for me, uh, one word comes across when I look at this, and that word is gold. How much gold is being used here? Gold in the halos, gold in the background, gold in their clothes and what they're carrying, gold in the staff here, gold in the dress, gold in the, the shawl, gold, gold, gold. And gold is, of course, we know a precious metal. It's expensive. Even to use it in a painting at this time was expensive. This is uh, a type of gold called gold leaf. It's actually made from real gold. Um, so again, it's showing how important these figures are. Also, you'll see a lot of blue, 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 blue. Blue is another really important colour in, in Christian art because blue, and it might surprise us now, but blue was a very expensive colour to have. There was um, paint used to be made from like ground up minerals, ground up rocks, and one in particular called lapis lazuli. Isn't that just a beautiful word? Lapis lazuli. Um, that's what they used to make blue paint. And it was the most expensive paint you could make was blue paint. So if you see blue, um, Jesus's mother, the Virgin Mary, she was often wearing blue in paintings because of how expensive it is. So we can just tell by looking at this, even without knowing who these individual saints are, we know uh, that this is a very expensive painting. It's a painting that shows a lot of respect for the characters so there's a painting with a lot of gold which would have been very expensive it has the halos around their head so halo is like around here and anyone who has a halo in a painting is either a saint or a character from the bible or jesus or very very special and holy and religious and they're all carrying objects related to their life so some people are carrying books, some people are carrying leaves, some people are carrying these um, hooked sticks that are what a bishop carries. Uh, some people are praying, some people are uh, talking by the looks of it. You can see lots of interesting facts. This person here is holding a church, which suggests that he was in charge of that church. Uh, you know, you could spend all day looking at this and working out who these people were. It's really interesting. Let's have a look at our next painting. Well, what colour are we seeing here? So this painting shows Mary, who is Jesus's mother, and Jesus, who is this figure here, with a group of angels. OK, what are we seeing in this painting? You tell me. Blue and gold, right? That's what I see when I look at this. Blue, um, this expensive colour which shows the level of respect that is afforded to these people it shows the level of uh, respect that the person who ordered this painting to be made had for these people so Mary is wearing a blue shawl and the angels are wearing blue and what's the other colour it's gold it's that expensive shiny beautiful gold paint again um, who here has a, a halo let's have a look at that again well Jesus and Mary these two figures, Jesus, of course, Christians believe is the son of God, and Mary, um, incredibly important in Christianity, as Jesus's mother. So they've both got halos. Jesus has gold, uh, and the angels and Mary are wearing blue. So that's really interesting. Uh, the angels, can you see here? Look, they've got wings. These are their wings. So they're ready to fly off up into heaven. That's what Christians believe uh, angels do they they tra travel between heaven and earth okay so this is called the wilton diptych uh, a diptych it's a funny word isn't it diptych uh, just means that there were two paintings so there would have been this one there would have been another painting next to it um, and wilton is in uh, wiltshire it's in near salisbury so this would have been found in a church 
And again, it shows the people of that church uh, just how important these figures are to them. OK, let's look at our last uh, figure or maybe we've got some labels. Yep. So the gold for Jesus's blanket, the gold halos, and blue being this incredibly expensive paint to paint with. Ah, OK, this is interesting. So this is our last one. Again, you can see this in the National Gallery. This is a, a statue of Mary, who's here, and Jesus, who's here. Um, it's We don't know who the artist was, but it's carved from ivory. I don't know if you've ever heard of ivory before. Ivory is elephant's tusks. You know, elephants have... They've got a, a trunk like that, but they've also got two big tusks. Um, in the olden days, and even sometimes now, those tusks are cut off. Uh, and used to make uh, art, uh, used for all sorts of things. You used to make piano keys out of them, but now they're used for art or ground down to make medicine. Um, but it was, again, very, very, very expensive. So this ivory is, again, showing the value of Mary and Jesus. What I would just like to point out here very quickly is look at Jesus's face. That doesn't look like a baby who was born in the Middle East to me. That looks like a rich sort of Italian person um, of the time. This is going to come up again and again. Jesus often looks a lot more like the people who are paying for these paintings or these sculptures than actual Jesus would have looked like. So it's important to, to point that out and to look. Jesus wasn't white. Uh, Jesus was uh, Mediterranean. Jesus had darker skin. Uh, Jesus looked like the people who live in sort of Syria, Israel, Palestine now, rather than the people who uh, perhaps lived in Italy at this time, hundreds of years ago. So uh, let's have a quick look. Yes, can you imagine how expensive it was to get elephant tusk to Italy hundreds of years ago? Um, do you think that this is what Jesus really looked like? Well, that's what we just talked about. So uh, hopefully uh, you're going to be filling out your sheet as we go along, perhaps pausing the video. Um, I will see you next week and we're going to talk about modern Christianity. We're going to talk about um, Jehovah's Witnesses, which are just like Catholics and Protestants. They're another type of Christian uh, and how they spread the word of Christianity. I hope you enjoyed looking at this art. I hope it encourages you to go and look at some more art, whether it's Christian art or not Christian art. Um, for me, it's one of my favourite things to do in class. So hopefully you'll see this in RE as you go through the next couple of years. You'll keep seeing Christian or other art come back. So that's good. Um, have a lovely weekend and I will see you next lesson. Bye, year three.